Why, hello everybody that's out there on YouTube. It's your boy Maxwell coming at you with yet another video. And in today's video, we're going to be picking up where we left off a couple weeks ago on a on our on an edition of We Build Wednesday. We're going to be picking it up with doing yet another Lego set build. This time around, we're going to be doing the Lego Star Wars uh, Darth Vader mech. And so yeah, let's uh, let's get cracking into this box, build this set, and we'll go from there and get into reviewing the set as well. And if I sound a little bit differently, I got a whole new microphone setup and stuff that I'm going to try to use, so please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. So let's get going into today's build video. <laughs> And so here we are at my table. We are, don't have my normal uh, build uh, setup uh, spot and stuff like that set up because you know what? I've got this table. It's a very nice big table. We can build up my Lego sets here and then I just got to quick readjust the camera. Less hassle, right? Right. All right, so here we got the uh, Lego Star Wars Darth Vader um, mech set. Here we got the Lego Star Wars, here we got uh, Darth Vader, the little minifigure that comes with him, 139 pieces, building toy, 6 plus, set number, Darth Vader mech. On this side of the box we just got uh, Lego Star Wars, and we got Darth Vader. On this side of the box we just got words and warnings and stuff like that. Up on the top we just got Star Wars, actual Darth Vader, the actual size, one-to-one -one scale for Darth Vader. On the bottom of the box we just got more words and barcodes. And then on the back of the box, we just got a couple of obligatory product shots. We've got the lightsaber can store on the back. We've got the Darth Vader. we got the Mac. Hey, look, there's a Stormtrooper and Boba Fett that you can build, of which I have. And those will be the next set of uh, build videos. I don't know which of the two I will do first, but hey, you will see it when the time eventually comes. So that basically does it for this packaging. So let's... Let's crack this box open. There we go. Crack the box open. And we'll build this. Okay, so that. Whee! Done. Here we got the uh, here we got the instruction booklet. Uh, QR code if you want to do it via the app or whatever their digital um their digital thing is for building. And so we're going to do this uh, one bag at a time, apparently. Okay. So we got the... Okay, so this is the uh, blade piece that are, is going to be used. Lots of residue on it. Ish. Here's the uh, cape for Darth Vader. So let's, um, let's get into this. Uh, first off, we're going to need to pop open bag one. And we'll toss that off to the side, like so. Okay, so for starters, we need his legs. Okay, and from there we need his torso. Voila, there we got that. Uh, now we need his cape. Uh, so that goes on there, like so. And then over like so. From there we need his lower mouthpiece. From there we need the head and I love the fact that the head, so here's the, oh here we go, here we, here's the head. Focus camera, focus. There we go, there's the head. It is actually dual printed on both sides, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So we got the head and here we got the top of the Vader mask. And here we have Darth Vader in all of his darkness. Looking pretty cool and pretty nice. We'll do a better clo closer look in comparison when we actually do our comparisons a little bit later in the video. And we'll give him his hilt. And we'll give him his blade. And voila! Now we got Darth Vader all sabered up and ready to go. And he comes with an extra hilt. So Hazan hooray for that. And then he also comes, let's see, he does also have an extra lower mouth piece, breather piece thing, which whatever it is, what it is. 
Okay, so let's get into let's get into this. So we need this piece and then this piece. That will go on like so. From there, we need this dark gray piece to go like so. And from there, we need these two ball joint pieces to go on there like so. Followed then by this black piece to go like so. And then this to go like so. Now I know I don't have to verbalize each of these steps as I'm going about it, and especially considering that it's like, you guys can kind of see the instructions. You'd be able to freeze frame it at any point in time to grab like the piece numbers and stuff like that if that's something that you so need. But you know, it's I'm trying to I'm trying to occupy some level of time as I'm actually building this set, so that way then. It's like you guys aren't just w simply watching me build something because it's like if this was a time lapse video instead of me just actually just doing this in real time, then I'd be able to talk about just, well, you know, about certain aspects with regards to the building process and stuff like that or certain neat tricks that I saw that they did. But, you know, this is real time and so as such you have to deal with the real time consequences. One by one brick, one by one brick, a couple of these angle connections, and my page just got turned back. Okay, followed then by a foot guide piece. Okay, perfect. Okay, then we got these dark grays. Uh, like so, and like a so. Okay, and these black clips. Uh, these odd and weird down and go pieces. Uh, like so, and like so. Then we've got his chest piece. So, I love how that turned out. That will clip on like so. And then flip it around. And then we've got these pieces that go like so. Well, then by this piece going down here like so. That piece. And that piece. Ah, and there goes the chest. Come on. There we go. Followed then by this. Okay, something's missing a piece somewhere because I have an extra. Gray tile. Two by two tile. Okay, so what do we got? We got that, we got that. All then by one of those. Okay, I did that. And those, then that, then that. Then that, then that. Ow! <laughs> that explains it. That's where I messed up. Oh, it was so quick. And the page turned, I think. This was when the page turned on me. That explains that. It's supposed to be those pieces, then this gray 2x2 two two tile, followed then by these clips for this. And that, okay, that that makes that, that gets that to fit a whole lot better. Okay, that, mm-hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, I could see it in the comment section now if for if I get any comments. Oh, you're, you're why'd you do that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not a perfect Lego builder. Okay, so there we go. And even though I know it's the mech isn't officially done yet, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him in there for the time being. I I like the idea of building him up. Ha <laughs> ha There we go. Perfect.
Alright, fine, I'll put that right there for the time being. Okay, so bag two. I need to get bag two here. Bag two. Hi, bag two. I'm gonna put the extra pieces right there, although I think I'm gonna put the hilt on the backpack with it too, the empty hilt. We shall see. Okay. So we need that piece with this. And then this one. And I believe these are going to be his feet because Bag 3, by the looks of it, has the pieces for the actual lightsaber blade in of itself. So I guess we'll just have to continue to build and wait and see. So there we got that. And there we got that. Next page. What do we got? We got these burgundy 1x2 tiles going like so and like so. And these gray vent tiles, followed then by this disc. Okay. And a dark gray stud. Okay. That's actually pretty clever. Okay, four of these weird angle pieces going back to back to create a triangle. That's pretty cool. And going back to back, followed then by these armor like pieces. Do that and do that. Okay, that's actually pretty ingenious. Okay, that's one leg done. All right, second verse is going to be very similar to the first, except for just mirrored. I'm do that. <clears throat> With that, followed then by that. So I do apologize, you guys, with regards to my uh, irregularity with my videos and stuff like that. I've had a lot of stuff happening in my in my personal life outside of YouTube that's kind of been uh, taking up my time to from uh, actually being able to record content for you guys and make reviews and stuff like that and so part of me really wants to get back into the routine of uh, making you guys videos and stuff but life is just life's just been busy it, it just has been and I'm and I'm keeping and I like to keep my private and you know me I it's like there's a reason you haven't seen my actual lies and stuff like that on my on the channel it's because I keep aspects of my personal life as such. Per they're in my personal life, my private life. I I don't I don't like talking too much about it, but I'm 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 trying. I I'm trying, trying to find the right balance between doing YouTube and my stuff in re in real life can be difficult, but I'm I'm trying. I'm trying, and so I thank you guys for being patient with me and. Even though we sometimes fluctuate in our subscriber amountage from about, with regards to about 320 to 321, I appreciate all your guys' views and support. I really do. Okay, perfect. So that's his legs all said and done. And so now we need to build it. Well, Darth Vader can't have legs without having feet. So is this times two? Okay, perfect. And what we're going to do is, since this is times two, we are just going to literally build both of them at the same time. Or as, at least as close to the same time as is possible. So we need those, and we need those. So, but all kinds of cool stuff being released recently, I've been noticing. So as of the time of the recording of this video, we finally now have some more concept stuff from like the Transformers the Bumblebee movie, specifically like the concept Rumble, Megatron figures being released in Studio Series. I cannot wait to get my hands on on them because I love that my love rounding out my Decepticons from the Bumblebee movie. I feel like there were just not enough Decepticon figures that although i have everyone who's had a cybertronian alternate mode released and so i think that's pretty cool and so 
I look forward to seeing what else they release in the future for the Studio Series line for the concepted series figures. Because there is, goodness knows, a lot of different concepts and stuff for figures and stuff, uh, figures and characters and stuff from some of the various different movies that just never got to see the light of day. And if they actually get a proper release, it would absolutely be thrilling. Because it's like the whole Bumblebee movie, like, we know, no, we all knew that Megatron had been concepted for it. He was supposed to make an appearance in it, but never did. I don't even think within that deleted scene that was in the, spe in the special features in Sector 7, I don't think that was the case. And so, yeah, I can't, I can't wait. Maybe they'll do more concept, concept characters. Who knows? I don't. I know nothing. That's what I know. I know nothing. But I love it, and they keep taking the money from my pocket. They keep taking my money, and they know that they will always be able to take money take my money <laughs> they know it they know they'll always get my money and they and they know that so long as they continue to make new toys of figures and stuff like that especially those that the fans have been wanting they know that we will continue to spend our money on those said figures and they have no shame in doing it. Frankly, put that as brilliant marketing strategy. Marketing strategy, if you ask me. They're smart. And I'll give them credit for that. They are smart at the Hasbro Toy Company. And so I applaud them in their efforts. Because they know that they have us. They, they know they have us. And so long as they give us what we want from time to time, they will... They will continue to... They will continue to both build us up and let us down. We all know it. We all know that'll happen. Alright, so it looks like we're building the actual lightsaber hilt now. Very cool. Very nice. And, and where's the other one? Here we go. Nope, that's not it. Here it is. Oh, he gets a nice big lightsaber. Big, big, big lightsaber. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. That is absolutely amazing. Okay, so then now we just go clip. 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 And voila. And now we put that on there like so. Perfect. Alrighty, now to build his other arm, which is going to be done very similarly, but also slightly differently. In the same, in the sense of just the whole, minus the hilt, I think the build, by the looks of the pieces, is practically going to be the exact same, so. That, we got his thumb. By two burgundy slash red tiles. Uh, this this will be a fun video for doing the actual for actually recording the actual review of him because I can't wait to do the comparisons because I got a couple different Darth Vader styles that I'm going to be comparing him to. Some of them actually haven't been seen since <laughs> early days of the U of the channel and of which I still have. So that'll be cool. That it'll be very cool indeed. I wish they had a cape for him. That would have been a real another cool thing to have added on to him.
And voila, that is his other hand. And so now we just clip that onto there like so. Darth Vader's on there. We'll reclip his lightsaber back on. Granted, of course, according to the instructions, they say to have it facing upright, but I think that just absolutely looks dumb. And so, yeah, there we go. And here we have Darth Vader all built up. This is a cool mech. Cool design, at least, for the mech. He actually looks on par with at least scale size as he should, so that's pretty cool and pretty nice. And so for extra pieces, I mean, a couple of these are just standards for, like, angles and stuff like that. The extra mouth guard piece and then the extra hilt. This, like I said, I'm going to store onto his back because I actually have a use for those hilts, those extra hilts. So let's get it go from looking like this and down onto the ground level, shall we? Let's. And so here we have the Lego Darth Vader all built up and... And yeah, this guy looks pretty cool, pretty nice. Getting in close here so we can take a look at the detailing. I love how they incorporated certain aspects from the minifigure design to be able to actually accommodate for certain aspects of the design that they could not put into the actual um, the actual mech when he was all built up and stuff like this whole chest ridge line and stuff like that. But the detailing still is pretty nice. How they got his standard chest unit design and just, yeah, it's really cool, really nice. I mean, it stinks that they don't give them better articulation nowadays, these mechs, but they still look pretty cool. And so, yeah, and on the back side, I love how they got the whole clips that you can put the hilt or hilts on. And I mean, if you wanted to, it could double as an antenna, which is something that is cool if you wanted to do that. But I like the look of it being down and then... I use the extra empty hilt in case if I decide to start doing more stop motion and then I'm not always messing around with the blade and stuff like that. And there goes his, there goes his blade. <laughs> there goes his blade. Um, articulation now on this mech, obviously dar the head can move from side to side. Arms are on ball joints and can move all the way around, can go up and down and tilt a little bit. Nothing at the waist, but legs can go forward about that far. They can go back that far splits pretty much to full splits and all kinds of other pivoting action because it's on a ball joint nothing at the knee but knee but feet are on a ball joint and can do all kinds of moving around and wiggling about and so that's it pretty much it for the mech armor aspect of it but let's get in closer so we can take a look at the actual minifigure we kind of got to look at him a little bit but a lot of nice Printed on detailing here, the nice chest detailing. He's got his belt on. And something I absolutely love that I noticed after I finished putting him together is his arms are actually detailed, which is pretty cool. And he does also include a little bit of back detailing too. So yeah, this is like a really cool Darth Vader minifig. And so just for one quick comparison for here as the minifigures, here he is next to one of the other Darth Vader minifigs that came back, came out a couple of years ago. It is the dual helmet build, but it is a more, this was actually the Darth Vader that came with the uh, Darth Vader transformation set. So we can see just how these two look together. And yeah, love the fact that they got, this one has the printed arms and this one does not. So you can see just the difference in the two. Love the new helmet sculpt, though. Absolutely love it. Oh, and even more detailing noticing just simply within the legs, how he has the actual detailing on his legs going down on this one on top of the cape, whereas this one just literally has the cape design. Much finer look, too, on the body, too. So, yeah, all around really cool and really nice. And he can, of course, as you saw, hold his lightsaber. So we're going to just put him back into his mech armor. Put him off to the side. And just for a couple quick level size comparisons, uh, here he is with the that uh, Darth Vader minifigure. So we can see just how scaled up these mech armors actually are. There you got that. Here he is next to a uh, Darth, the only Darth Vader action figure that I have 
in my collection. See how that looks. Here he is next to the original uh, Darth Vader buildable figure. See how those two look together. There you got that. Here he is next to the second version of the Darth Vader buildable figures. So you can see how those two look together. That guy's really tall. Really cool. Really tall, though. Really tall. It's crazy just how tall he is. And then last but certainly not least, uh, here he is next to the Lego Darth Vader bust. The, uh, the uh, helmet. The Lego helmet that was released a, a few years back. And why? Well, because why not? Dare I say, why not? My channel, my review. So, there you go. Yep. <sighs> and there you got that. And just as a quick splice in for articulation, he has moving fingers on both sides. Light, lightsaber can't be moved from one side to the other unless if you take the whole assembly apart. But you, it is manageable to be done if you want to do that. So, forgot to mention that, but hence is why I quick spliced it in. And so there you go. There you have the build video and my mini review on the Lego Darth Lego Star Wars Darth Vader mech set. Oh, this is a pretty cool, fun little set. I really enjoyed building it and putting it together. Um, didn't take too long. It was only. As you guys kind of saw, it was only about 20 minutes, and so, yeah, it, quick, simple, fun build, and really cool figure. I Like I said, the only thing I really wish that they did differently is they included a cape. That would have made this really cool and put it over the top. But then they may have, it may have been like a $25 figure instead of just a $20 Lego set, or $15. It would have been a $20 set but currently retails for about 15 So I guess I can see why they did what they did for that. And so, but I look forward to building the other sets that I got. I've got, uh, I've got Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper. I'm probably going to do the Stormtrooper next because I've actually built already two Stormtroopers. And so I had, I figured, you know what, I'm going to, I bought three, built two off camera. And I'm like, you know, this will be fun. I'm going to build those on camera too. And so then we'll have a nice, Darth Vader with his entourage of uh, stormtroopers. So, but yeah, no, I think that'll just about do it for this video for today. So thanks again for tuning in to this latest edition of We Build Wednesdays. And this is your boy Maxwell. Thank you for tuning in, asking you to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with him if you think might like it. And don't forget to check me out on social media. Links, of course, will be in the description down below. So again, thanks for tuning in and let's cue our outro. Hey gang, thanks again for tuning in to this latest installment of Maxwell's Reviews. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel by clicking here. And please be certain to check out this other video review. And also be certain to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with whomever you think might like it. All the help really helps me out. And so again, until next time, fun people. Camera photo!